In recent decades, Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, has been explored by numerous spacecraft, each unveiling novel discoveries and providing clearer perspectives of the magnificent gas giant. Notably, NASA's Juno spacecraft, currently engaged in the study of Jupiter, has presented unprecedented insights into the planet. By venturing closer than any previous spacecraft, Juno has captured breathtaking views resembling works of art. This marks the closest observation of the solar system's planetary monarch. Juno embarked on its mission to Jupiter in July 2016, undertaking a challenging five-year, 2.8 billion kilometer journey. Successfully entering a polar orbit, the spacecraft now navigates just above the planet's cloud tops, enhancing our understanding of this gas giant. Throughout its primary mission, Juno amassed over three terabits of scientific data, and its mission is far from over. Currently, it maintains a hectic schedule, actively involved in an extended mission anticipated to continue until September 2025. This underscores the exceptional design and construction of Juno. However, Juno's tenure at Jupiter has been far from simple. While the gas giant may appear as a serene striped sphere to the naked eye, the reality is quite different. Jupiter presents an immensely challenging environment for exploration, characterized by intense radiation, the most severe in the solar system after the Sun. Juno encounters this harsh radiation every time it orbits the planet, passing within a mere few thousand kilometers of the cloud tops. Despite the difficulties, Juno has been resilient in navigating through Jupiter's demanding conditions. The ingenious design of Juno by scientists and engineers was akin to constructing an armored tank intended to withstand Jupiter's harsh environment. This robust construction shields the probe's essential electronics from the perils of radiation as it ventures through the intense zones. This resilience allows Juno to achieve an extraordinary journey, approaching as close as 5,000 kilometers to the planet. Through 56 close orbits, Juno has provided unprecedented views, unveiling Jupiter in ways never seen before. Jupiter's dense atmosphere is intricately organized into belts and zones, marked by turbulent jet streams along the boundaries. This configuration results in mesmerizing regions of chaotic, multicolored clouds. Upon closer examination, intricate swirls become apparent, accompanied by bursts of bright white pop-up clouds scattered across the scene. Some of these clouds cast discernible shadows on the adjacent layers of clouds, adding to the captivating spectacle. Fascinatingly, scientists can leverage these shadows to gauge the distances between cloud layers in Jupiter's atmosphere, offering valuable insights into their formation and composition. The provided image showcases additional high-altitude cloud formations enveloped by swirling patterns in Jupiter's north temperate belt region. For decades, scientists pondered the depth of these bands, and thanks to Juno's gravity measurements during its close flybys, we now have a definitive answer. The revelation indicates that these flowing atmospheric bands penetrate deep into the planet, reaching a substantial depth of about 3,000 kilometers. Scattered across the belts and zones, one can observe violent rotating vortexes, storms of thick gas on Jupiter, whipping around at incredible speeds. However, these storms differ significantly from those on Earth. On our planet, enormous hurricanes and cyclones are centered on regions of low pressure, in contrast, on Jupiter, the predominant storms are high-pressure anti-cyclones, and they stand as the largest. While on Earth, large storms may endure for weeks, on Jupiter, they exhibit remarkable longevity, lasting for years. Moreover, the scale of these storms sets them apart. On our planet, large storms can be as expansive as a country, but on Jupiter, they reach staggering dimensions comparable to the size of an entire planet. 
In this incredible image, an enormous swirling white oval is visible, while numerous smaller cloud swirls extend into the distance. The lighter colored clouds are higher up than the darker clouds, and it almost looks as though the storm is moving through the atmosphere, leaving a magnificent pattern of chaos in its wake. This close-up image reveals two of Jupiter's large rotating storms, Atmospheric details as small as 4 kilometers can be seen in the image. Again, bright pop-up clouds are visible above the lower storm, casting dark shadows on the cloud's deep bank below. However, these storms pale in comparison to Jupiter's largest, the renowned Great Red Spot. While the reason behind its striking red hue remains a mystery, it is speculated that UV radiation may alter the chemistry in the clouds. The central region, the reddest area, boasts the highest clouds surrounded by deeper swirls rotating counterclockwise. The eye of the storm, remarkably calm with nearly zero wind speeds, contrasts with the turbulent outer edges where winds reach an astonishing 430 to 680 kilometers per hour. Near the top of the storm, where the red transitions to white, peculiar narrow vertical lines become apparent. These are gravity waves, a phenomenon occurring when a fluid or gas disturbance is corrected by gravity, resembling waves on a beach. The seemingly black areas in the photo aren't truly black. They're slightly less red than the surrounding regions. The darkest sections likely represent deeper clouds, as revealed by Juno, extending hundreds of kilometers below the cloud tops. While not captured in the Great Red Spot, Jupiter, akin to storms on Earth, experiences flashes of immense lightning. A remarkable image from Juno portrays a vortex near Jupiter's North Pole, accompanied by a green flash at the center, an indication of a lightning bolt's glow. Unlike Earth, where lightning predominantly occurs at lower altitudes due to clouds of water vapor building up static charge, Jupiter's clouds containing ammonia along with water facilitate lightning formation at significantly higher altitudes. At Jupiter's poles, one of the most tumultuous regions unfolds, featuring multiple storms dancing in intricate patterns. This image exposes numerous formidable storms, each spanning thousands of kilometers near the North Pole. Deciphering the formation of these storms is crucial for unraveling the mysteries of Jupiter's atmosphere, including the fluid dynamics and cloud chemistry shaping the planet's diverse atmospheric features. Scientists are particularly intrigued by the vortices' diverse shapes, sizes, and colors. I trust you found this video enjoyable. If so, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.